I'm fighting to stay in the clarity. Um, coming back, I felt a whole bunch of cobwebs swept, swept away. And I've been living in this trying to be patient limbo for a while. I knew changes were coming. I could feel them changing in my body, but they hadn't really manifested. And, and what was happening was I was caught in this like, gauzy feeling that didn't give me um, a clear view ahead. And it doesn't even need to be a clear view ahead. I didn't even have a next step. You know, of course we all want like an ultimate goal that we can, sh you know, like I'm, I'm getting there, <laughs> I'm getting there. But in the meantime, you need to just keep taking steps forward until, until you like arrive and, and you're ready to launch into when you find your one singular, you know, singular center point in time in which you pour everything, pour your whole self into. And to get here to a place of clarity has been like a lot of wading through like just the, the mud, the mud. Um, not lost, not sad, just not clear, not clear. And so I feel myself wanting to kind of fade into that again. I can feel my mind starting to fog out. I can feel um, what I was able to hold in front of me, like with, with a, like a, a crystalline clarity starting to like let go a little bit. And the only way I know to bring something back that you want to focus on is that it takes daily reps and it takes daily reps of bringing the energy of what you want to envision through your body. So for me, that looks like this. When I let myself let go of everything else and I sit in this present moment right here, right there, the confusion drops away. I am not confused at this very moment because let's face it. Most of us live our lives like looking to the future with worry, our lists, our responsibilities, even if it's good stuff, you know, it, it, there is a, a future tripping or there's a past. We don't live right here and right now and right here and right now is the only thing that you are actively in control of a and B it's where clarity is. It is where clarity is. Now you may be really clear on your future goals. Amazing. That is so fantastic. Like if you're very regimented and every day is building up towards that, you know, when I was climbing the mountain, it was such a tangible goal that every day's workout was absolutely geared towards climbing the mountain. I can't miss cause I'm climbing the mountain and I am climbing a mountain, but it's a different kind of mountain. And to keep that one foot moving in front of the other, since I don't have like a, a literal picture of a peak in mind, um, actually, I just thought about that. I think that making a mental picture of, even if I don't know how to get there, what the outcome I want is, is going to be my new mountain. So that just came up for me right now. So what I'm saying is that in order to stay clear or to use an image to refocus, I use... I kind of uh, visualize a string, uh, like a very sharp laser of light, both coming down through the top of my head and up through my root and like kind of either meeting in the middle and then intertwining and then going the opposite way and keep, and that, that keeps occurring, that keeps occurring. That center light keeps me here and present. And what I've just decided to adopt is uh, a picture with a lot of detail. And I know that manifestors use this as well. To, if you want to manifest something into being, you need to know every exact detail to bring it forth. So I think that since I don't have a complete pointy tip of the spear, a picture of the outcome to which I want to do that is going to substitute for that. And, and then that other thing will get clearer. But just taking the moment today to let that zip line like zip through me brings me that space that brings me back right here, right now, into the place where I'm clear. 
the other things fall away. And I'm taking the next step. So that is what has come up for me today. And I will see you tomorrow.